Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I tried to do this Hollywood glam inspired red carpet look. So I didn't primer anything because I'm, I don't really have any good primers. But if you know any like drugstore product primers that are like really good and they're not expensive, please list them down below because I'm like in need of a primer. So right now I am applying the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and my actual shade is Soft Beige but since I ran out of that I used the other one that I had that was close to it and that is Buff Beige. I want a primer that is like pretty good. It makes my skin not dry but not like oily. I wanted to cover my pores around this area like this area is where I have them the most and I have like some textures on my nose especially from like zits or blackheads I have um, popped which is not smart and I want something that will make sure my foundation doesn't crease for hours under my eye right here I have like really bad bags and when I put powder it literally just creases up and it looks so disgusting and so wrinkly and so I, I just want something that's gonna smooth in my skin and make my makeup look flawless and perfect so if you know anything like that just let me just just let me know so I also did run out of foundation as well so I'm what this thing I ran out of concealer so I'm stuck with the Born This Way by Too Faced and it's not a bad concealer I just feel like it's not good enough coverage for me just because my dark circles are super bad but this is still a really good um, concealer I don't believe this is my shade but I mean since it's all I have right now I'm gonna try to make it work This concealer is a little bit too bright for me, but I want to try to make it work. So I'm going to add a little right here. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with the speedy sponge and I'm just going to be blending it all out. That is not, that is not good. That is very bad. It just made my dark circle more gray. And it's just super ashy on me because the shade is not my shade. If you know any drugstore concealers that are in really good coverage, just let me know. What does this look like? It looks really white, I feel like. On camera, I feel like it looks super ghosty, like I have white paint under me. Oh, this does not look good. What the heck? Okay. So what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna use this concealer. I reapplied the foundation over the spots that I got the, I got everything rid. You know what I mean. I just, I fixed my face with the foundation. So we're not gonna use concealer because I don't have concealer. And my translucent powder I have is the Airspun translucent powder. And that is horrible on my face. It just, it, I feel like it makes my dark circles more gray. Like, I don't know, I feel like everything makes my dark circles gray. That's probably me. But I feel like also when I wear it, there's like, it leaves like a white pasty shade to it. So I don't think I'm gonna be using anything except foundation and like bronzer and blush and highlight. So we're gonna try to see how this works out. So right now to um, deepen my contour, I'm gonna be using this individual highlight contour single from NYX Cosmetics and it is in the shade Toffee slash Caramel. I'm gonna take this number six BH Cosmetics brush. It's a big fluffy brush but it kind of flattened. Take the product here and tap a lot of it off since this is really dark and I'm just gonna barely go under my cheekbone kind of towards my hairline and I'm trying this for my first time so I really hope this works out and if it doesn't we can always go back in and fix it. So let's try. I'm going to be using two palettes today. 
So the first palette I'm going to be using is the Morphe 35P. And the second palette that I'm going to be using is the Tarte Don't Quit Your Daydream palette. So cute. And it just has some neutral colors. So first color or shade that I'm going to be using is this light pink beige, like this light peachy beige sand color right here. And I'm going to start off right here and I'm just going to be doing circular motions. When I go towards the inner part of my eye, I'm going to be kind of doing windshield wiper motions. And I'm doing this super gentle, super light, and you just got to build up the colors over and over, and eventually it'll it'll look really nice. I'm going to take a number two BH Cosmetics brush. It's super pointy and fluffy, and I'm going to go in with this tan shade right here. And I'm going to be applying that into my crease and on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to take these two shades right here together. And I'm literally going to focus only on the crease just so that it looks a little more defined. So I'm going very slow and very gentle so that I don't make any like harsh lines or anything. And then all I'm doing is just barely brushing it upwards, barely. And I'm just going into that. Mix in the last two shades I used and then that tan shade. Mix it up and then kind of buff it out on the outer corner of my eye. Kind of warm it up a bit. And then in the crease and a little bit above. So now you have something more like this. I The camera just does not do justice to how pigmented these colors are. But you guys just have to take my word. I'm going to be taking this red shade right here. It's called Runaway. So it's going to go into the crease just to give it more of that red shade. I just, I don't know, I feel like this is nice. Alright. And you could add like a shimmer shade to this part if you wanted. But I kind of don't want to do that. I don't know. I kind of just want to play it simple. Now the final shade, fade. The final shade I'm going to be using is from the 35P palette. And I'm just taking this white shade right here. And I'm going to be putting it on a number 6 BH brush. And I'm just going to be packing that on the center of my eye. And then the inner corner. So I'm just tapping it on. be using some NYX double stacked mascara and I'm not gonna use the fiber lash mascara just the black and I lost my lash thingy to like help put on my lash on put my lash on that's the worst angle ever Ugh. okay I'm gonna look back at this video like five years later and I'm gonna be like what was I doing I just applied some on the lash band and then I'm gonna apply a little on my eyelid Now let this sit, like let it um, dry out for like 30 seconds so it gets a little tacky. I'm just going to be placing it on the center of my eye. I'm going to take the outer corner piece, stretch it out, and place it onto the outer corner of my eye. And then the inner corner and kind of bend it to fit the eyeliner. So you kind of just want to stretch it out so that it like fits the eye shape. So now that the lash, you can see the lash band from the previous times I've used them. I'm going to go in with that eyeliner and I'm going to apply eyeliner on the lash band so it just transforms into the eyeliner. So that's all I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. 
I'm gonna pick some of that color up and we're gonna be applying that to our lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with this red shade right here, Runway, and I'm gonna apply that as well to my lash line. Oh, and I still haven't done the other eye. Oh, I want a nap. So I'm no longer home alone. So that means there's going to be lots of noise in the background. So in case you hear things in the background, I am really, really sorry. This one's perfect. What is that? Fixed my eyeliner a little. It's not like this one, but it's, it's better. I use concealer. Thank goodness. I'm going to try sandals and this looks like the perfect red. So we're just going to try this. All right guys, so this is the finished look. So this is my second video. I'm super excited. I was really excited to film this. It was so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like how this look turned out, comment down below what you think. Oh yeah, everything that I use will be listed down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.